your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video we are going to discuss the second stimulus, social security, student loans, and we are going to discuss these debit cards that the IRS sent out. So if you want to know what's going on in the world, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. I got you covered. Now guys, it is Friday, okay, cheers to the freaking weekend. It is a holiday weekend. The Senate is on recess and I am trying to join them, okay? So this video is going to be short and sweet. And if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hello my darling, my name is Shalay, and here on this channel we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and jump into the second stimulus. I have my computer here, so if I'm looking down, that's what's going on. All right, so Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he outlined three priorities for the next stimulus. Now, of course, we all know I talked about this in a few days ago in a few videos, and he wants to focus on kids, healthcare, and jobs. Now, he does want to pass the second stimulus before August, so he said if there are going to be any checks, hey, we need to get all this done before August, which leaves just two weeks when they actually return from break. So if you're not aware, they are on break today, and they are expected to return back to Washington on the 20th. Now, Senator John Thorne said the Republicans will still need to agree on the number and the components of that second stimulus. So we know that the president stated that, hey, I want this second stimulus check to be larger than the $1,200 that the Democrats proposed. And so according to the Senator, it's like, hey, they have not agreed on a number on what that amount is going to be, which is great for us. Now, I know a lot of you have talked about it in the comments that, hey, you think it's going to be $2,000, $3,000. We don't know. Let me know. Let's see. You know, like, let's have a little bet down there in the comments on what do you think this number is going to be? I'm betting probably $2,000. I don't think it'll be a monthly stipend but I think probably two dollars two thousand dollars or who knows like you know it may be one thousand two hundred and one dollar that's more than twelve hundred welcome to America now also guys we know just based on the last guidelines the president did say that he wants to get this money out a lot quicker to the Americans because now we're about four months three four months after the CARES Act was passed but the CARES Act was passed on March 27th the Treasury Department started sending out checks via direct deposit on April 15th which was 17 days later now if it continues to stay on this timetable which the department of treasury have, have announced that hey we can get the checks out a lot sooner than we did last time we have people's information now i know it's going to be some people in my comments like girl how could they say that when they still owe me my first stimulus but this is what they're saying so the check could come to you as early as august now don't expect any checks right now in the beginning of the month and even though they're going on recess do not think that they still won't have little leaks that come out on what that number could be because you know they're still going to be talking so we're going to still be posting videos on is it this is it that so if your heart cannot handle it okay if you cannot handle the back and forth don't watch the videos come back on the 20th and then we'll go from there but if you want to know and stay in the now of what's going on you gotta come back every day, right? You got to, because it's the news and it changes daily. All right, guys. So the Congress, like I said, they go on vacation from July 3rd and they're expected to return Monday, July 20th. Now, once they are in Washington, they are in Washington July 20th through August 7th. And at that time, Congress will likely approve the next stimulus package before August 7th. And that's according to Mitch McConnell. He's saying that he wants to approve the next stimulus bill before Congress goes on recess once again in August. Now, for a lot of people who are still stating that, hey, we're not going to get anything, girl. Like, don't even get my blood pressure up, okay? We're not going to get anything. Guys, if we we're not going to get anything, they could have just said no. Like, why are they taking us on this roller coaster ride? And hey, I've been riding it. I'm in the front seat. Okay. All right, guys. So, speaking of the IRS and processing checks and Department of Treasury, you have, if you have yet to receive your stimulus payment, you may be receiving a letter in the mail. And pretty much it's for these debit cards. Now, we know back in May and June, they sent out 4 million debit cards to people. They did not announce or let you know if you were going to receive a debit card. However, some taxpayers were mailed a debit card of their stimulus payment, but have yet to activate it because we know some people threw it in the trash, right? 
they will receive a letter in early July. So reminding them that they can activate and access their money or obtain a free replacement card if needed. So guys, if you have yet to receive your payments, then if you receive that letter, that's exactly what's going on. It may have been sent out to you and you thought it was junk mail. And yeah, so the debit cards were originally mailed in May and June to about 40 million people who were eligible for those stimulus payments. And the debit cards were issued from MetaBank and they came in a plain white envelope. If you're still not sure on what that envelope looks like, you can actually go to Google, type it in, and people are showing them on Facebook and Twitter. Like you can find it, okay? So the reminder mailing, the Treasury Department logo will be visible on the envelope and the letter and the left front of the envelope will clearly include the notation, not a bill or an advertisement, important information about your stimulus payment. The inside of the letter will include instructions for people who have yet to activate their card and includes a picture of what the debit card looks like. So if you are still expecting your um, payments, then you should look out for this mailing and once you get it, activate the card as soon as possible. Once the card is activated, you can transfer that money to your own bank or do or spend it how you would like. Guys, if you have thrown it in the trash or you receive a letter, you can go to eipcard.com or you can go to the IRS Frequently Asked Questions and they have on there how you can get another card sent to you. It takes seven to 10 days for you to receive another card. Now, I'm wondering myself if they send out round two, are they gonna send the money back on the card that you received the first time? I don't know, I don't wanna think about it. It's the weekend. What do you think? Do you guys, so how do you feel about this and everything that's going on? Now, if you are still waiting on unemployment, yeah, these you are transitions. still waiting on your unemployment checks. Um, there is an article that is published right now. What you can actually do is contact your state or local congressman. And a lot of the congressmen have taken on helping people get their unemployment. So you would of course need to contact the appropriate or the state legislator that represents your area. So, you know, sometimes it's like districts or different things on there and you need to call them guys. I know I tell you like to email, do what you need to do, but you need to contact them and have all your information indicating where you have applied for your unemployment, your filing each week, what's your number that they can get in contact with you at, and I promise you, let them work. So in a news article that I read today on Forbes, a lady was stating that how one of her family members was having issues getting through that with unemployment. She heard on the radio that, hey, all you have to do is contact your local congressman. She reached out and then within five days, her uncle had his money in his account. So for those that are still waiting, I would definitely have you contact your local congressman and ask them for help regarding your unemployment and see what they can do because a lot of um, unemployment offices are just understaffed. They're not answering the phone. I know you guys have tried emailing them, reaching out to them. And in Kentucky, they had long lines of people just waiting for them. Look on the websites as well and see if they have anything like that where they have um, different local stations set up because I know in Kentucky and I don't think they were doing it here in Alabama but other states they have little local like setups where you can actually go and meet with somebody at the unemployment office and they had it like in the community and it was like an eight hour wait in Kentucky whoa okay all right guys and last but not least for student loans i am still looking to see if they're going to pass this ten thousand dollars um loan forgiveness that is part of the heroes act we don't know a lot of people are not discussing it as of right now the priority is the stimulus check and i know people are still wondering about hazard pay as well i am looking every single day especially for student loans but u.s representative elise stefanik she has passed a bill or she has sent up a bill that will help spouses of military service members during the transition to new duty stations. And according to this bill, it will allow like military spouses to defer their student loan interest for up to 90 days on there when they're completing a PCS or a permanent change of station. There will be also no interest accrued during the deferment. Now, um, according to this, she said that she wanted to find a way to help military families and just have that additional financial protection during moves to new duty stations as well. So she says military spouses sacrifice education, job and family stability in order to their service member spouse to courageously serve their country. Their spouses deserve for their sacrifices to be recognized and honored. 
absolutely agree 100 i like this bill even if you can hey cancel the military wives loans do that as well i mean you know why you at it let me know guys what you think about that and the student loans and then last but not least is social security the social security has added a new feature it is called the advanced designation feature which enables you to identify up to three people in priority order who will help serve as your potential representative payees in the event that you ever need help managing your benefits. You can go to the Social Security website at that time and you can answer or look at the questions about any regarding the advanced designation. You can also apply for the Medicare online in 10 minutes with no forms to sign with no required documentation. So they're trying to do like these virtual offices as of right now because you know a lot of places are not open back up. Also, you can apply for Medicare and find other important information. If you're eligible for Medicare at age 65, your enrollment begins three months before your 65th birthday and three months after your birthday. So for Social Security recipients, I know you guys like that. Definitely check that out. So guys, this is it to the video. If it was fast, I am sorry, my darling. But as you can see, I am ready to enjoy myself like yes. So please like, comment, subscribe, and you already know I will be posting a video tomorrow for you over the weekend. We're going to continue this daily thing. And yeah, please, pretty please enjoy your weekend, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.